Today I would like to present another sine wave inverter DC AC module test. Please read the text to find out the details. The module supplied from 220 volts grid via bridge rectifier. Small step down transformer fits the input of the oscilloscope. LED display is divided on left and right sides uh, so we can monitor two values at once such as DC bus voltage, AC output voltage, control voltage from PI regulator, battery voltage, time on and also we can switch the display off. In the low test, we will observe the output voltage waveform under different load condition. We can adjust output voltage with potentiometer as required. As you see at the moment we have 60 watt incandescent lamp as a load. Now we can see the waveform for the given load. So we can use also another lamp or in iron soldering as a load as well. Okay, now we have two lamps at 135 watts load and the waveform is better closer to sine wave. So next step, we are going to disconnect load well and have a look at the output voltage waveform under no load condition. So as you see it's not quite sine wave. Now we use iron solder 40 watt as a load and here is the waveform for the given load okay so we added some more load and the form improves another lamp is on so totally we have 100 85 watts oh. and the waveform is better on the left side of the display we have control voltage from PI regulator and the right side shows the output voltage RMS Now I will demonstrate how the output voltage behaves under different load condition. As you can see, adding load, the moment we have something about 100 volt load, the voltage is 200 volts. We add another 75 watts and voltage is stable, still 200 volts. At the same time, the control voltage is changing all the time. Again, waveform. Now we're going to add some extra 580 watt drill as a load.
And now a little more about the load regulation. During this test we wanted to see how good is PI regulator in keeping output, output voltage stable. So we have load some 100 watts and the vol output voltage is 215 volts. Added another 75 watts, output voltage change to for 1 volts to 214 and control voltage is changing all the time trying to stabilize output voltage. So now we will switch all the load off one by one and you see the output voltage still keeps to 215. Okay, so we switch off all the loads. Output voltage is 216, 215. As you see, we can say that PI regulator works quite good. Now let's check the display accuracy and waveform. As you see, 215 actually equals to 220. Here is the summary. Here is the summary for the uh, heat dissipation and s some information about the design of the GCAC module. So that's all for today, folks. See you next time.